Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hello everybody, Dan from Southhawk Computing back again for another uh, repair report. This one here is for, uh, for a mail-in. Uh, essentially the user wants to get uh, Windows 8 out of here as well as a solid state upgrade. Uh, they want to downgrade to Windows 7. Been having nothing but issues with this machine. Uh, hardware has failed twice on it and now um, essentially they just want it completely wiped and uh, put Windows 7 on it. So um, I'm going to come back and do a uh, quick benchmark uh, for startup time. Granted this is going to be with the Windows 8 operating system, but later on we're going to do it with Windows 7, so we'll be right back. <clears throat> Alright, welcome back. So, like I said, we're going to do a benchmark on the startup time for this machine. Again, we're going to be downgrading to 7.1, and um, some would say this is not a fair comparison, but you can still see the difference, um, regardless if it's running 8 or 7 on the startup time of this laptop. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Perfect. Okay. So, took about a minute and 10 seconds, give or take. Granted, we're not at the uh, desktop, but it's pretty much booted at this point. All right, time for Windows 7, and uh, let's do the solid state as well. We'll be back. Okay, we're back again. Um, Windows 7, um, I said 7.1 before I, I botched up on that second uh, part of the video there, but uh, essentially Windows 7 is installed. Um, I decided to put it on a traditional drive, uh, just to do a benchmark on that as well, just to see how that goes. So here we go. We're gonna do that real quick. It's about a second off, give or, give or take. Not exact science here, but we'll speed up the video again. <laughs> So Windows 7 on the same exact hard drive on this machine took uh, almost about two minutes to get to the desktop and I can still hear the drive chugging along here. Oh, actually, you know, it's completely booted. So we'll say about two minutes for Windows 7, all the updates, it's installed software um, on a traditional hard drive. Um, all right, we'll be back with the solid state and we're going to do the final uh, startup co time uh, comparison there. Okay, we're around the final phase here. We got the solid state hard drive installed. We cloned it from the uh, traditional hard drive there. So let's do this final benchmark. One and a two. Perfect. And let's see what this guy does. <laughs> At 29 seconds, we had the desktop coming up. Um, yep, Wi-Fi is already connected. Icons are here. And bam, what a difference. Okay, that's it for now. This is Dan from Southhawk Computing. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Take care for now.